seeing me. Anyway guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a good Christmas <clears throat> to anyone who celebrates Christmas and for everyone else, um, I hope you had a great time with your family. Um, just today, I'm just really quickly like coming in here guys. I want to share a, an, a luxury item that I bought probably last May but I haven't really gotten into sharing it with you. Actually, I did film a video and I just forgotten about it. And I was just going through my files and I found the video but I'll this one didn't come with all the jazz like it just comes with the with the bag itself nothing else and I hope I didn't even ask any questions I just bought it like naughty me I should have asked something to the seller but in any case I can actually return this if it's not as described or it's not authentic but I'll just need to authenticate it myself if that's the case but okay so let's just freaking do this okay so it's nicely packaged it's a big box guys I've been eyeing actually I've been eyeing this bag for <laughs> what like nine or eight months already this particular bag came up on my eBay market, no, on my Facebook marketplace. But after I uh, gave an offer to the seller, she was like not really keen on selling it. I don't know, she's quite confusing. So I just left it, but I did regret it actually because it was also going for a good deal. But these guys can't beat this. Okay, so it came with this dust bag not the LV dust bag though but oh my god oh my god oh my god Ta -da -da. presenting to you my new to me Louis Vuitton oh my god shit oh my god Louis Vuitton tote bag you'll hear just a clip of it but it's an old video. I feel like that's not me now. So I am not confident in showing that whole video to you. But yeah. So yeah, the item that I have shared or that I unboxed on that video was this Louis item. It's a Louis Vuitton. Okay, I'll try to say it in French, okay? It's Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying hard, but I hope I didn't butcher that one. Um, so it is the Davis tote. It's quite a big bag. And it's in the monogram Makasa, Makasa print. And I, before I bought this, I started searching for a great tote bag that I could use for work and also for day-to-day -day life. So I came across this style on like a pre-loved website on eBay, like I think one of those Japanese resellers, but they were going for about 16, 1700, but I'm just not willing to pay that much. And another like a day came and I was checking on Facebook and then I found a similar, like exact same bag. Um, it was going for about six hundred dollars, and I was still haggling with the seller. And I'm asking for about four hundred, but the seller didn't want to let it go for that price, so I just left it. And when it was gone, of course, I was like devastated, but not really, you know. But I'm just exaggerating. So yeah, I just left that, and I just went and move on with my life like you know so one day I went to check my eBay notifications and my this I've saved a eBay seller which um, where I bought my Keepall 45 in Mac Macasa print as well and then this handsome boy came up on my notification board and it was 
only going for guys I know I will I will see comments like oh that's a bloody fake bag blah 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 I don't even care but to me this is authentic and I have a lot of Chanel or Chanel sorry I have a lot of Louis but bags and I do know when it's fake or not and I got it guys are you ready for the price I got it for a whopping $175 I can't believe it I know that this is discontinued now and it may not be it may not sell for as much as it was before but you know 175 for a Louis Vuitton bag which is not vintage and in this great condition it also came with the original strap but I just switch it up with this um, 10 to a ton strap from uh, what from an Etsy store called ice trap you they do um, make great um, bag straps which are a good addition to your like luxury or like I mean any handbag that you have I mean just look at this guys <clears throat> just having a black strap with it will look like a bit boring I'll say um, I mean you have the monogram but having this different pop of color you'll feel like it's like part of um, Kim Jones's collection or whoever is in the the head of uh, the fashion director in or creative director I think in a fashion house you might think this is some sort of a collaboration with a designer isn't it but yeah I was just so so happy like to find it um I don't know with this seller is he just really getting rid or <laughs> just throwing all his I'll say just his because most of the stuff are like men's like his stuff which I am grateful for of course because I I mean your trash is my treasure I know and yeah I I'm happy to have this I've been using it um, more recently now and I love it with this trap specifically just look at that and the wear and tear on this. It's just very minimal. Of course, there's wrinkling on the handles because this is where <clears throat> more of the wear and tear comes from because it's like a top handle sort of bag and it's like a laptop bag as well. And there's no cracking or anything that I could see. And yeah, <laughs> there's just one day I use this as a like shopping bag <laughs> I bought like 10 or 12 like spam <laughs> and corned beef which is which is so mean I, know. I don't know I'm just very basic guys <clears throat> anyway <laughs> and I have quite a few stuff in here and also yeah moving on I have another purchase that has come up to my surprise but it's this vintage Florentine pouch that seen this first from Hey June. Um, she does use it as a bum bag, but it, this didn't come with the strap. But I tried to put it. I tried to put the strap on this on on here, and it looks amazing. You want to see it? Let's try that on. <clears throat> but I do I use this just to house this camera I have a new camera it's the Sony RX100 Mark III and I just snip it there and I just love the look of this I mean if you use if you carry this around on your travel and I mean, of course, you use your camera. You can just take the camera out of the pouch and you can use it as a bum bag or as a crossbody bag. So look at that. Isn't that, doesn't that look amazing? Let's see? I mean, it's a good travel bag. Cap fell off. 
and that's what that looks like at the back and I got it for 200 210 Australian dollars I mean I've seen these come up around like 600 700 dollars of course it didn't come with a strap that's hence the price so I'm fine with that because I didn't want my intention was just to use it as a pouch just to house some cards or like the camera but yeah I, I love it it's a versatile piece and yeah it's like a backup like bag on your travel if you're not planning on bringing on too much stuff and I'll I bring this around everywhere I go so that's that I hope you enjoyed the things that I've shared now and especially this this is my favorite I feel like this is the best of the best um, unboxings or reveals because of the price I mean 175 are you have you lost your mind look at that it's so sturdy and the canvas is so thick oh yeah so that is that so I just wanted to share um, I'm also here I'm just not feeling it I deleted my Instagram and Facebook apps which is just wearing me off um, I feel like I'm putting too much pressure on myself so yeah I'll be back I don't know when but I'll be back soon just want to have a rest and of course you have you balance work and Instagram and YouTube I mean I try try my best <clears throat> anyway let's move on okay I am currently using my Chanel Wallet and Chain in the Ruthenium Caviar Leather which is I think one of the best Chanel bags that I own that I want to like keep forever um, yeah, if I'll choose like a Chanel bag that I'll keep from my collection, I think it would be this or yeah, I think it will be this rather than the Chanel reissue. I mean, just because of the price, I think I, the reissue is a big chunk of money. Um, but this one, it's not, I mean, it's still quite expensive. But yeah, I do love the Chanel World Unchained. It's my favorite one and it still smells good. Ah, okay. I think I, I'll end the video here. <laughs> I'll hope to see you on my next video, guys. Um, please take care and yeah, I mean, just keep an eye out on my videos. If I don't upload as much, I don't really upload regularly though, but yeah, just... Um, just, yeah, I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, uh, just wish me luck, guys. I, adulting is hard AF. Please don't grow, guys. <laughs> Stay where you are. Enjoy what you have. Anyway, I'll catch up on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this like short um, reveal. And it's quite casual. Um, I just wanted to do a video and just sit down. Anyway, I'll catch you up later. Bye!